Well, good morning everyone. We're having another late start this morning. I'm not super motivated because of weather, but I'm also excited about the fishing. Um, it doesn't look too promising. Um, it looks like it's about to rain, but let's be honest, it's been a really cold spring so far this year. Uh, we're mid-May and the temperature is still in a single digit. I'm on Vancouver Island right now and um, I'm spending the week over here exploring different lake fishing opportunities um, in the area between Nanaimo and Victoria. Um, believe it or not, there are actually lots of lake fishing opportunities in this area. The freshwater fishes side BC releases uh, rainbow trout into dozens of lakes and uh, they can be really caught because these are catchable rainbow trout. Uh, they go into the lakes by the thousands and it's a great fishing opportunity for the kids. So I am ready to check out all of these lakes and show you where to go. Actually, I better look out where I'm going because I have no idea where to go. Our first stop is Fallen Lake Park in uh, Chimenez. This is a popular large lake. The park is really lovely. I've never been here before, but it's got a nice beach where people can swim from. It's got a playground for the kids. And uh, there's also a floating dock down there where you can fish from as well. So I'm gonna go down there and check it out. And I know the hatchery has just released some fish recently. So hopefully we can get into a few fish in the video. And I believe the park down that way uh, through the forest there's also a network of trails where you can go down to the lake uh, maybe we can find some sh good shore fishing spots from so yeah it's a little breezy but at least it's not raining yet uh, i can feel the rain is coming so let's get on with it and see if we can catch some fish no one's fishing here today the wind's going this way, so the flow is gonna drift that way, so there's fish on this side. Look at that. Oh, bait's not working. So we're gonna switch to a lure and try it out. Let's try over here. Well, the rain definitely has come and uh, the fish are not biting today. Um, just shows you that I don't catch fish all the time. But there are signs of fish being caught. I just looked around in the, in the floating dock. There's blood and scales on the ground and, uh, and it looks pretty fresh. Um, maybe like a couple days old. So yeah, it's, um, it's not a bad lake. It's uh, just today, just not the day. See my, you can see my float over there, which is not too far from shore. But all the fish I've been seeing jumping have been way over there. So, oh, there's another one right there. Down rain, it's wet and cold. Uh, we've been here for about an hour now. I spent quite a bit of time on the floating dock with no bites, uh, hang out with the heron and a couple of ducks. Then I found this nice little secluded spot in the woods. Um, this is really nice. Um, but yet, I s I've seen a couple of fish jump, but no action. I guess the fish are just kind of tired of the rain too. It's a, it's a really nice lake. Um, it's a large enough lake so that when the fish go into the lake, um, they're not going to get caught right away because unless you have a boat, um, you, want, you can only access part of this lake, which is a nice thing about it. So that kind of extends the fishing season a little bit. Um, the water's really clear. That's the other thing I really like about it too. Um, definitely want to come back on a much nicer sunnier day. Nice and warm in the car now. Um, just before I was leaving, I'm sitting in the car, I was watching this old gentleman fishing down on the beach. I guess that was the hot spot because he got into a fish and then um, the heron came up and was trying to steal the fish. So I guess that's why the heron was hanging around me before. Um, I guess it's pretty conditioned to, uh, to people catching fish around here. Never seen that before. Um, seen eagles stealing fish, but never a heron coming that close to steal someone else's catch. Yeah. Anyways, off to the next lake.
Lake number two, um, we're just south of Cowichan Bay. This is Dugan, Dugan. I'm not totally sure how this, uh, how to pronounce it, so I'm going to leave the name down here. Um, it's a much smaller lake, so I actually feel really good about it. I personally love fishing small lakes because the fish are more concentrated, so easier to catch. Um, there is a boat launch right here, and I do have my boat, but I'm going to try fishing on the shore this time instead. I did see a few fish jumping right in front of me, so that's always a good sign. And uh, this particular lake does get quite a few rainbow trout in it as well. Um, nobody's fishing here, so um, hopefully will be the, there's some fish left for us to catch. Oh my gosh. It's with the rain. Whoa. Bite! Toes on the drop. Okay. Just had a bite while the lure was dropping down after the cast. Okay. Good sign. Fish just jumped over the. Okay, this is more encouraging. Turns out for lake number two, um, I did have one bite and we saw a few fish rising out there but they were still rising a little further out um, just outside of the casting distance. Um, if I had more time and if it wasn't raining, I would have put my boat in the lake and give another go but we'll save that for another day. Um, this episode isn't really about catching fish, it's more about showing you all these different lakes that's available um, around Vancouver Island. No, it's about catching fish. Of course it's about catching fish. We're going to move on to the next lake. Um, hopefully we can actually get some fish over there. Well, we've gone from very urban to super remote. This is Lizard Lake, just 15 minutes drive north of Port Renfrew. Um, it's a very nice area. It's very secluded. It's a perfect area for camping. And uh, we're surrounded by just rainforest. And speaking of rain, that hasn't changed since we left the last lake. In fact, the rain has gotten heavier. Um, while I was driving out this way through the Cowichan Lake area, and it actually started snowing. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know what I prefer, snow or rain. Um, at least it's not windy. That's what I like about right now. Um, this lake is stocked, and uh, if you come out here to camp, you do have the opportunity to catch rainbow trout. Nobody around? Despite the rain, it's very, very nice. I'm gonna give it a go, see if we can actually catch some rainbow trout finally. Oh, oh, bite! Oh, bite, 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 bite. Didn't go very hard though. Come on, bite harder. It bit like three times and just kind of let go. We should let it sink a little bit. Okay, one more cast before we get the bait out. Okay, not a bad start, even though I haven't hooked any fish yet. Uh, three bites in a very short amount of time. And uh, I saw one fish that followed the lure right in. So there's definitely quite a few fish around. I'm gonna chuck the bait out now. And uh, I'm hoping, I'm usually pretty confident when it comes to bait, so. Size 6 hook, as recommended by some of you. It is absolutely freezing by the way, besides just being wet. I think temperature is rough around 2 or 3 degrees Celsius. So yeah, the things I do to make videos. Let's cast a little further that way. I think I'm too close in. I make, maybe make it a little deeper. Ah, finally had a bite on the bait. Whoa, there's quite a few fish rising out there all of a sudden. Oh, there's one. Huh? Oh, came off. Came off. That was a that was a good sized fish. 
Now I'm getting a little more excited. <laughs> My float's gone. My float's gone. My float's gone. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh, it's a smaller fish. But that's okay. <laughs> I walked away and... Yeah, Fraser Valley Rainbow Trout. Other fish. That was fast. That was a bite already. Oh. Okay, so that was one hour of fishing and uh, we did get into quite a few fish, we missed a few bites, lost one fish, so I'd say it's pretty good. There's lots of fish in this lake. Too bad it's raining, I couldn't get the big camera out to uh, show you guys more. Um, but yeah, it was, I actually had a lot of fun even though it was quite cold. So I'm going to go inside now, go back in the car and warm up and we'll trail some more lakes. Beautiful spot. Definitely, if you want to go camping around Port Rainfrew, um, this is a lake to check out for the kids. You can just come out here, get some bait, fish under the float, and catch lots of fish. Another day, another lake. This morning we're at Mayo Lake. I think that's how we pronounce it. Uh, just outside of Lake Cowichan. Um, I'm not going to be fishing today because this is an age restriction lake. Um, so any kids under the age of 16 uh, and seniors can fish at this lake. Um, I'm antsy though, so we brought a couple kids today. Um, Ava and Tony are going to be fishing and hopefully they'll be getting to fish. There's a few of them rising right now, so looking good. And it's not raining finally. <laughs> That was fast, that was fast, that was fast. That's where it is. Yeah. Oh, came off. It was swimming around with me. <laughs> It came off. It came off. Huh? There it goes. There it goes. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, there it goes. Rain. It's raining again. Just keeps following us around. That one's gonna get it. 
that was a lot of fun. Thanks to Ava and Tony for getting into some fish in front of the camera. Um, the weather stayed pretty nice most of the time. Yeah, so a lake like this with an age restriction is really good for kids to come out. And um, there, as you can see, there are plenty of fish. We saw lots of fish rising and um, there wasn't a shortage of bites. So great, off to the next lake.